Hey, I'm Penn, and this is my wife, Kim. And this is her DIY wife, Monica. When I realized that Penn had no interest in DIY, I got myself a DIY wife. And like any good marriage, we made some vows. To make cool, creative stuff, no matter how grumpy Penn is about it. Let's get one stripe down before we question it. <laughs> to fail openly and honestly, and let you know when we failed so you can get it right. To let you know if these crazy projects are worth it. I'm discovering that I actually care and I'm actually worried. And to be unapologetic tryhards. If you don't know what that means, ask your kids. I know you make me nervous. I've done this before. Uh. <coughs> don't, don't, don't. A T connector. This project <laughs> sucks. <laughs> We are legitimate tryhards. Hey guys. This looks like someone is trying to claw up the wall <laughs> with bloody fingernails. For this one, we are in the boudoir. Or the guest boudoir. The guest boudoir. What are we doing in here? Well, this is just the land of unwanted furniture. <laughs> I've put zero effort, honestly, into decorating this space. I know, I couldn't even tell. <laughs> <laughs> but, Kim, you love wallpaper. You have a lot of wallpaper throughout the house. It's all fabulous. The problem with wallpaper is it's like kind of pretty permanent. It's, it's super expensive, by the way. Really expensive. It's yeah. expensive and it's permanent. Ish. And I saw a project you did mm -hmm. and I thought that was wallpaper. She did. She was like, I love the wallpaper you put in that nursery. And I was like, tricked ya. It was paint. So we're going to actually get the look of wallpaper in this guest room, but do it with paint. So we're actually going to hand paint stripes. Like, freehand on this back wall. I mean, you're assuming a lot of skill if we're gonna you hand, like, no tape or no, like, no ruler. Tape, no tape, no. We'll use some levels to make sure that we're, like, kind of straight, right. but. Is part of the charm to be crooked because it, the wall will be very charming. <laughs> Think of it this way perfectly imperfect. Well, why don't you just tape it and like that way you guarantee No, no, no. I actually want this to look like almost hand painted. Okay. So hand painted straight, perfectly straight lines. Is there a name for that? Like faux paper or wall? I think it's baker. just a hand painted accent wall. Okay. Okay. Hand painted accent wall. So what like what color? So this print was gonna be our color in spell. We need a few quarts, like five quarts of paint. So I think that you should pull colors out of here, like a dark gray, a medium blue, a little bit of green, maybe something in this purple family. We didn't run to Lowe's yet to get paint, so I'll just give you this. You run to Lowe's, you can like text us if you have questions, but I mean, this makes it simple. Okay, so I'm sorry, so gray. Gray, gray like medium blue. Blue. A, like another greenish gray. Okay. Like maybe something in the purple family. Okay, so I'll go get the paint. Okay. Have fun. Okay. Five quarts. Five quarts. Flat paint. Flat. Flat. He'll be fine, right? He's colorblind. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> they were showing me this painting and all of the colors look exactly the same. They are seeing colors that I don't see at all. Um, so we're here at Lowe's and uh, this should be interesting because it's a colorblind guy being asked to pick out five different colors. We need full access to this wall. So let's just clear everything out of here. So I have everything that we should need, minus the paint, which pen is on that. Let's figure out how many things you don't know what they are. We have a level. Yes. Painter's tape, which you said we weren't gonna use. Oh, no, we'll need it to block off the base molding so that no paint gets on it. Measuring tape. Yes, we will definitely need that. Some paint trays. Yep. Foam paint. Brushes. <laughs> Foam paint brushes. You were so close. Uh, yes. And then a um, fishing rod. <laughs> <laughs> You're a very cute fish. Also known as a string line. We want this to look perfectly imperfect, but we need to give ourselves some guidelines. So what we're going to do is measure 24 inches and mark a tick mark at the top because that's where we're gonna put these temporary lines so that we stay straight. So now you're gonna go like this, put it on this line on this side, and give yourself another one here, okay? Uh-huh. Oh! oh! <laughs> 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 Lewis said it worked 
Benjamin's comp stitch. Okay. Okay. Do the bottom two now. I'm really trying to be careful. I don't want to disappoint you. You're not going to disappoint me. So I know this is where you're kind of supposed to start. These are really gray. Well, okay, this is blue. But... No. Wait, gray. Right? No, gray. Right there. I'm super nervous. So this is a chalk line. It's going to help us make straight lines. It's gonna connect our dots. So this is a string that has chalk on it. Yes. One end we're gonna hold on that line, the yeah. other end we'll hold on this line, and then we snap it. Now ready? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> See? And then we'll do the same exact thing the next two feet over. So these are like our training wheels. This way we know that these lines are pretty straight. If we start going like you know like You've had too much to drink, <laughs> and it's not working out. Actually, we should say, this is a project you should do fully sober. A hundred percent super sober project. This one, I don't even know if this is the right color, but it's called Wine Glass. I know that Monica and Kim are going to like that. I'm here. All right. Perfect timing. Oh, goodness. We're excited. Hi, guys. I am excited. So that's gray. Okay, so like a dark gray. Uh -huh. And then also gray. Yeah, but that's more of like a blue gray. I like it. Okay, and then I got some gray here. If you want to look at that, those all look exactly the same. All right, this so far, one, you're three this, for three. Okay, and this is gray. Um, that's more like a navy ish, mm -hmm. like a royal or okay. a navy blue. I like that. Is that good? Okay. Mm -hmm. And then this last one, I don't think it was in your color palette, but it's called wine glass. <laughs> and so I, I just felt like it's like, it does, I do know what wine looks like, and this looks it like looks wine. It looks just like wine. So okay. then we got that. You did um, good, babe. You this did is really good. Once we see them open, we can decide. Like, if we only want to use four of them, that's okay. I feel like we're like right in the zone there. How do you feel about that one? It was. It's a little more turquoisey than I expected. So okay. maybe we just do four. I, I think so. Okay, so you're thinking Colorblind that man. that's like the kid that's doing its own thing right now? Yeah, which okay. is a cool color that maybe we could bring this color in as like an accent, like a cool pillow or. Another word I say weird. <laughs> pillow and coupon. Yeah. Yeah. So you might so get we can a, get a coupon, coupon for a cheap for pillow. Your pillow. Okay. But so. I think we could bring that in as an accent. What happens if I screw it up? I'm very nervous. <laughs> okay. We're putting tape on the baseboard just so that our stripes don't hit the baseboard. So maybe every four inches will be a stripe. And like I guess worst case we could just like paint the entire wall a certain color. You're already planning our plan B. <laughs> All right, ready, friends? Yeah. I know you have me nervous. I've done this before, and I'm like, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't All screw right. it up. Just don't screw it up. It's Kim, that's not helping. Okay. Now, see how there's like hand movement and texture on that? That's okay. Let's get one stripe down before we question it. <laughs> Just stick with me, guys. Just stick with me on this one. Are you guys like gesturing behind my back? No. Saying, We're Done. It yep. went from wide and it got kind of thin about halfway down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. You're gonna do a second pass. Okay, cool. So this, at this point, looks like my child came in here <laughs> and drew in the wall and I'm very upset. So that's where, that's the baseline. Bye -bye. Okay, bye. Okay, okay, I'll see you guys later. We don't need your negativity in our lives. <laughs> I came into this like really not caring. I was like, oh, who cares? It's just the guest room and we haven't even painted it and we've lived here for four years. I'm discovering that I actually care and I'm actually worried. So the technique is just to keep a steady hand, as steady as you can. The foam is gonna move a little bit, brush. And then do one coat and then a second. The second is where you kind of get the consistency of the thickness. Yeah, we got a little wonky. No, it's fine. It, it really will be fine. Yeah, and the thing is, we can almost, if we do them heavy enough, we can do the whole wall and then come back and decide what needs to be touched up and what doesn't. All right, now that you see like three, what are you thinking? How is it feeling? bad that it like, it looks good from far away? No, that's the idea. Like the, in, like, cause once it's all done, it'll all look good. But from far away, it looks good. And then I get a little close. And I'm like, oh, I totally smudged that. But Yeah, but you're the only one. Like the whole thing is supposed to be like, someone will come in and be like, did you hire an artist to do this? And be like, yes. <laughs> I think my stance on this is very clear. I I don't know how that's gonna look good. I really don't. I mean, come on. Like, just free, it was free-handed. Um, I, I have low expectations. 
All right, so we're almost done, and I think that we got pretty good. Specifically, you got really good. Look at this. Dude. I'm gonna open my own Etsy shop at this point. You don't talk into it. At oh, the same sorry, time. sorry, sorry, sorry. <laughs> She's good. Maybe not that good. And <laughs> We also, you might notice, um, learned a couple things along the way. We found that it was much easier to do a section of all the high ones and then move the ladder away and continue the lines below. So in the very beginning, I was very stressed about making them perfect and uniform. But now I realize, especially when you take a step back, when you see the little tiny imperfections. The artistry. The artistry, it's actually what makes it special. We learned that a drop cloth was not an optional piece, but like a million percent essential because these foam brushes, they do drip a little bit. Hey, Pen. What? We're ready. We're nervous for you to see it. I love Monica and Kim, but I think they're a little crazy on this one. And so here it goes. I'm gonna close my eyes and walk in. This is gonna be terrible. Here we go. Keep coming. Okay, here, 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 keep coming in. Keep, you can put this on. This is not HGTV. Oh, oh, it's your own. <laughs> Holy <laughs> I mean, it's, oh my god. <laughs> what do you think of the pain? It's not, it's not. Uh, what the? What? This stuff's freaking unbelievably good. Like, um, you guys like it, right? Yeah. Okay, good. You actually don't like it? What? No. What? I don't love it. It looks like someone drew lines on a wall, which is what happened. Like you died, you guys drew lines on a wall. Okay, so time for our three T's. We're gonna talk about time, which is how long it took, tab, how much it cost, and tips. Some tips so that you can get this right when you do it. Okay, so let's start with time. Well, the two of us, it, yes. it took an hour and 33 minutes to paint. Yes. And that's including prep and painting? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. so, everything. So, so three man hours, woman hours, three hours. Yes. Okay, times two. Oh, so got it. So if you're doing it by yourself, three hours. Right. Yeah. That's what, that's what a man hour is, is when you add the two, like the total hours to. I'm just saying. Okay. How about the tab for this? All right, this was really good too. Wallpaper, as we know, really expensive. Like even if you're just doing the wall, you could have been looking at what, like three, four hundred and up. This was sixty-five dollars total. That's four quarts of paint at fifteen dollars each, and five bucks for foam brushes. All the tools we had. I'm starting to like it more. Tips. We learned a lot doing this. We did. Um, we learned that when you start, just stay on the ladder and. Start at the top, so, so okay. we're not going up yeah. and down and up. And it down. was like easier to do a section at a time of all the tops, then get off the ladder, and then just do all the bottoms. Uh -huh. That really saved a lot of time. Having another friend to hand us paint was actually really helpful because you're up there and you're swapping colors. So. And that's something that even a very uh, coordinated kid could help you with, so it could become like a family project. <laughs> very coordinated, but yeah. not an Choose your most I, I, I child. <laughs> we also learned that. A drop cloth, like almost doubled up underneath, is essential. Yeah. You will have drips. And we also learned that you almost have to double up on the lines to make mm -hmm. them a little whiter. Right, we like the thicker look. So we end with thumbs up or thumbs down. Whether you should try this or not. I bet you, you try can't this or even not. guess how this one's Ready? gonna go. Okay, one, <laughs> two, three. I'm sorry. I love I, you guys. I, put I you love up. you guys. We oh, win. So five. Yeah, of course you win. I knew I wasn't gonna, like, I know it's staying here. I don't know. I walked in and I was like, this looks like someone is trying to claw themselves up the wall <laughs> with bloody fingernails. So I... <laughs> I think he's gonna Sorry. be, you're gonna be sleeping in this guest room. I know I am. No, 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 no. I think this is a big one where we need to know what the people think. Like, tell us when yeah. you think. Oh, Do yeah, you like everyone's this? gonna disagree with me. Literally is everyone's Penn gonna disagree wrong. with me. Of course <laughs> I'm wrong. I love the time and tap. You guys did a great job with those. <laughs> <laughs> it just looks like something out of a saw movie. <laughs> Here's the most important thing. I don't care. Yeah. yeah. It can stay okay. like this. And that's why I have a DIY. That's why you have a DIY. That's what it is. I like, yeah. I like it. I okay. like it. Okay. Okay, until next time when I... If, yeah. Alright. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Clocks. <laughs> 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 Hey, don't forget to subscribe for more DIY wives and what other sort of crafts and DIYs should we tackle together? And don't forget, one more thing, follow us over on Instagram.